hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without much ado let's get started it's new we have print we select the a3 size we have resolution 300 and we create i'm going to double click on this background layer to unlock it unlock this layer we copy our text from notepad so i want to copy this hexa code okay copy add a solid color fill and paste my hexa code right here click ok so we head over to notepad and copy the next hexa code Add another solid color. So we'll paste our hexa code right here and click OK. I'm going to convert this layer to a smart object. OK. And I'm going to create a max grab the gradient tool. We have foreground to transparent. And I'm going to drag this way. okay i'm going to press ctrl i to invent it so i have it at the opposite side grab my rectangular tool we set the stroke size at 56 the stroke color is white and we draw a rectangle shape right here so i grab my add anchor point tool I'm going to add an anchor point right here and drag it down this way. I'm going to hold this side, move it up a bit this way. Equalize this. So we shift it up a bit. Head over to far. Let's embed it. And select this item. So we'll click the check mark. Convert this to a smart object. Ctrl T and we transform. Okay, so we click the check mark to confirm. We adjust it. We right click and create a clipping max. We grab our ellipse to our rectangular tool and draw a rectangle shape right here. We have the stroke size as now, so we check that. I grab my add anchor point to add an anchor point right here and drag it this way so i have this shape and we're going to add a gradient to value to this shape so i want to add a layer star gradient to value all right i already have my gradient to value so these are the hexa codes okay i just click okay i head over to far place embedded and select this item click the check mark ctrl t and i transform so i just did try to buy it Transform it a bit. Click the check mark. So I head over to Notepad and copy. Restaurant menu. Copy this test. Grab my test tool. 
change the color to so we change the color to, to white click ok and i paste i'm going to highlight and cut this with the check mark so i'm going to paste this right here and write the character properties and i'm going to make this uppercase all uppercase V for move to and I adjust this right here you zoom in and transform this so we transform we click the check mark to confirm we select this layer and make all uppercase. Yeah, check how it allows you make all uppercase. We transform it a bit. So we make this bigger. Click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to add a layer star so we need to add a drop shadow. We have the price of 46. So with a distance at 15. 15, we click OK. So we grab our ellipse tool. And we'll draw an ellipse, an ellipse shape right here. Going to transform this a bit. Doing the check mark, head over to far. Place embedded. Select this item. Doing the check mark to confirm. So control T and I transform. Right click and create a clipping marks. So we'll grab our ellipse tool again and draw a small one right here. V for move to we adjust it. We transform it a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. Collapse this. Control J so we have another duplicate. And I'm going to hold Alt and Shift so I can transform it proportionately. Select the ellipse. And I'm going to change the show color to this color right here. Okay. I'm going to decrease the stroke size and select the stroke options as this. So I grab my text tool. So we type percent with the check mark. Change the font. So accidental presidency. Control T and I transform. Click the check mark. So I'm going to change the color flow to this color. We adjust it right in this shape. Control T and transform it to reduce it a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. So we hold Alt and we duplicate. Change the size to 36. We transform it, we make it bigger. We will click the check mark. We have the text to highlight all and change it to off. We will click the check mark. We grab our move tool.
we transform a bit okay click the check mark to confirm I head over to notepad and copy this text right here I grab my text tool and I'm going to paste it right here click the check mark increase the size to 36 and change the color for to white change the font we uncheck all the packages I'm going to change the font We can check our package. Okay. We can check this. We press enter. We click OK. So we're going to change the bleeding to auto. Grab my move to adjust this. Okay, control T, we reduce this, you transform it a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. So I grab my rectangle to and draw a rectangle shape right here. To have the color fill as white. Adjust this. I grab my rectangle to the game and draw a rectangle shape right here. To grab my move tool, I adjust this. My rulers side by side. So we have one right here. We need one more at this side. So we zoom in, rasterize this layer. Grab my pen tool. And I'm going to click here. Yeah, so I can create a selection right here. And do that. Right click, make a selection. We have our feather radius at one. We click OK. Press delete. Ctrl D to deselect. So we do the same thing to the other side. So we'll click. We'll click here. And we join it. We'll right click and make a selection. Further we just add one OK and we delete. So we move to view. We move to view and clear the guides since we don't need them any longer so we'll copy this copy this grab my test tool and paste I'm going to change this to our package Change the color flow to this. Grab my move tool and adjust it right in this shape. I'm going to change the size to 32. So I have the size set to 32. So Ctrl J and I group this as one a single group. Press Ctrl J to duplicate and I move the other group to this side. Click the check mark to confirm. So I grab my test tool and change this to fast. We'll copy this I 
Is that my test too? And I'm going to paste it right here. Click the check mark. Change the color for to white. So head over to character properties. Change the font. So I can see bold. So I uncheck all upper keys. Change the size to 30. I grab my move tool, adjust it right here. So head over to the properties again. Change the leading to 20 to 30. Sorry, 24. No, that's not okay. That's not good. We change it to 48. This is too wide. Reduce it to 36. So we have 38. So I'll over to Notepad and copy this. Grab my test tool and paste right here. Click the check mark to confirm. V for move to. Click the check mark. We adjust this. I'm going to make this smaller. Click the check mark to confirm. So grab my ellipse tool and draw an ellipse shape right here. We delete that. Close this. Delete. And we draw an ellipse shape right here. So where do what far? Place embedded. We select this. We place. Click the check mark. Convert to smart object. Ctrl T we transform. So we're going to make this smaller and create a clipping max right in the shape. So you can select this layer. We create a clipping max. Select this. Okay, we are just to move it up a bit. Going to change the leading once again to 42. Okay, so we we'll change this one to 42 as well. I'm going to grab my test tool and type 14.00. So we zoom in. I just did right here. In line with the first. So we have 14. We would alt and drag. We would shift to remove it as it's all being in line. So as we keep on in line, so we I reselect that. Hold shift and drag. Hold shift alt and drag. So we all, we have all in line that way. Hold shift and drag. So we have it straight in the same line. So we do the same to the other side. Select all layers and move them. We shift them to this side a bit. So I'm going to select one of these layer, one of these. Put alt and drag. I'm going to adjust this. So I think this layer is on top. 
So we're going to drop the layer. We we'll select this. No, we can't. So let's drop this layer. Okay, let's drop this color filter. So we drop this layer down right here and reselect this. Okay, that's okay. So we we'll Alt, Shift, and Drag. I'm going to delete that. So we can do. We have the first one. We adjust it. Alt, Shift, and Drag. Alt, Shift, and Drag. Alt, Shift, and Drag. So we're going to grab our rectangle tool, our rounded rectangular tool, and draw a rectangle shape right here. So I grab this test with alt and drag. And I'm going to move this layer. We have this layer at the top. So I'm going to select the text and move this layer to the top. So we have it this way. And change the color flow to this background color. Grab my text to highlight all. And we type the website right there. So we'll click the check mark to confirm. Okay. So we zoom in. We select this we group. Control G we group this. We adjust it. We select these two layers. Control G. We group that. We can just shift it up the same way. So we adjust this test. We adjust this as well. So that is it. Alright guys, thanks for watching once again. See you in my next tutorial.